Tracy from World Long Games. Good to be with you again. So we have some cool swag and some great bags. And um, we're gonna talk about some uh, new exclusives. And of course, last night was April's pre-sale. So of course, we're gonna talk about that. You know, things that we're anxious to see and things we're not sure because, you know, they're just mock-up drawings and we won't know until the live images hit the internet. So, um, Let's get to it. Okay, so first, first, um, someone had asked me about my Grotto Treasures Peter Pan exclusive. So let's get it out of the way. So um, I am actually, even though, you know, I do own my own store and we will have our own exclusives. As a collector, I truly enjoy supporting other small businesses and of course getting the exclusive bags from each and every one of them but I will say that um, Grotto Treasures is truly um, they're knocking me out of the ballpark with their exclusives because I will say this Peter Pan all over print vintage all over print is absolutely stunning so, um, I have excellent placement. Again, I have Tink on the front. I have two TikToks. I have two Peter Pans. My, my hook has his head cut off up here, but not down here. Um, and then I have hook on the side. So, I'm really happy with this placement. Um, you know, I know some people worry because it is a white bag. Um, I don't because I scotch guard all of my bags to protect them against, you know, insults and injury, dirt, kids' dirty fingerprints. And then, of course, I use the pink stuff to get any, you know, miscellaneous marks that might appear on my bag. Because we all know scotch guard's not going to. It's not going to stop that ballpoint pen that your kid is jabbing into the bag. But the pink stuff will most definitely help you out in that department. So never fear the white bag again. Scotch guard and the pink stuff's got your back. So now that we've seen the beautiful all over print, and as you can see, it has the lovely black accent on the trim um, and I think that it's perfect with the gold hardware you know because there's all this like the hewing around the printed images um, of, the, of the vintage print um, that actually kind of brings out the gold in the hardware so just it ties it all together um, and I know a lot of times people will say well with an all over print you don't have as much texture you don't have as much style and detail but that's not necessarily the case especially if you're a collector you see these small minute details and they just bring it all together so if you don't notice i'm not see the this gold hue around peter pan here it, it, it like i said it's tying in this the beauty of the gold hardware not just the zipper but the zipper pull the hardware you know on the straps it's literally tying all the style elements together. And I think that they, they've made a good choice in the black trim with the black straps. Because you have so many other colors in play on this white bag, um, I think that black just really helps all of the other colors pop on the white background. So I do, I love it. Um, and then of course, we do love the side pockets, which it does have. Um, our metal plate, uh, the front pocket, you know, I'm not a big flap pocket person. So always happy to see a zipper pocket. And then the beautiful lining is red with, uh, you know, little wheels and Tinker Bells inside and tiny little Jolly, Ra Jolly Rogers. I was gonna say Jolly Ranchers, that's funny. So yes, yes, yes. It's fantabulous. Uh, I really do love this bag. Um, I can't wait. Um, this week, I should be getting my um, the vintage Bambi um, all over print and the Mandalorian from God of Treasure. So I'm looking forward to those. And um, I also received my... 
Oh, my cupcake bag. Are you guys ready for it? Are you ready for it? So there's a lot of butt hurt people out there. Yes, there are. Have you guys seen the prices that these babies are going for, like on Mercari and eBay and Poshmark? Have they lost their minds? I mean, come on. Really? I mean, I know they only put out, like, was it 900 bags, but seriously, you know those people didn't buy it for the bag or it wouldn't be on there for almost $400. Having said that, it is fabulous. Oh my goodness, it is so fabulous. I absolutely cannot say enough how fabulous it is because I just love it. I love every inch of it. And it's funny because I don't, I don't think I even noticed when I saw the original images that it actually had Minnie Mouse's ears on the cupcake. I literally just saw the cupcake and I still wanted it. I was like, Ooh, it's a cupcake because you know, we're getting the sweet treat bags and I just, I think they're really pretty. And I thought, well, a cupcake, it'll just look fabulous. So when it came and it had those, I was like, whoa, that's like an eye catcher. It's popping. I was just like, hey, you know, I could really use a blue Mickey Mouse bag with ears with no bow. I mean, come on. I want a Mickey cupcake to compliment my mini cupcake. I mean, or you could do like a um, Rice Krispie treat. You know, like the at the park, you know, you get the Rice Krispie treats and then the head is like dipped in chocolate. And it's got sprinkles all over. I mean, it would be a lovely compliment to this fantabulous bag. Oh, so as you can see, it has all of the texture elements that I love so much. I mean, we have, you know, some print, our polka dots. Okay, then we have some lovely lace. We have, um, like, the, the indenting so that it feels like a real cupcake wrapper. We have our plaque, of course. And then up here, it's sewn. And then we have um, the embroidery and then the applique bow. I mean, it's just beautiful. And it feels like firm, but not too firm. Like the, like I've said before about the um, faux vegan leather. It, it's not all made the same. Uh, so this, it's just perfect. It is perfect. It's not hard enough that it feels like a rock and it's not soft enough that you're going to see a lot of creasing like you did with, you know, the, um, the glow in the dark mickey. So, you know, we have our ears and they did a good job of protecting them. So it did come, you know, in mint condition and we have red straps to complement the black backing and our la 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 loop. And okay. So this did not come with that bag. I actually, my friend Brandy, she's a Disney personal shopper. She found it for me at Disneyland, and when she saw it, she was like, oh my goodness. She sent me a picture, and I was like, you know I need it. You know I need it. So it is a matching keychain from downtown Disney in Los Angeles. So if you want it, that's where you got to find it. So let's have a look inside and see, you know, what her lining looks like. Anxious, anxious. So it's sprinkles. I like sprinkles. And I hate to, to bend it like that because it's such a beautiful bag. But I need to show you the lining. Oh, the last time I'll ever do that. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's not going to um, crease or anything. It's just it's just such a pretty bag. I just I want to keep it perfect. This is going to be one of those ones where I wish I could have gotten two. You know, one for the collection that will never come off the wall and one to wear. But a little birdie named Liz said that they were looking into making more cupcakes. I hope this is true. Now, mind you, you don't want them to make the same cupcake. And one would, obviously, they probably won't. They'll probably make, like, a different cupcake. But I would love to see more cupcakes because this baby is fabulous. Oh. So, next, next we have, and I thought it was only fitting um, because we did see a Peter Pan and Mag. This is the Peter Pan from the core line that everyone's been losing their minds over. Um, and it is really cool. It glows in the dark. Now, obviously, you know, I won't be able to show you that necessarily. 
but um, so it has really great texture elements. Uh, it is printed, but we do know that um, the windows uh, on the pocket scene do glow. So that is very cool. Um, and then we have some embroidery here. Uh, and then up here, and you can even feel it uh, in the top where um, the glow in the dark stuff is. Because of course the stars also glow in the dark. And I think they did a really lovely job with the coloring of the bag. Um, it's not a solid color. And they did this really beautiful, almost an ombre kind of color fade. So if you look um, at the top, you can see what I'm talking about, how it goes from, you know, dark to light, to dark, to dark, to light. And then back to the back, we have the dark. But of course, it's not the same, exact same color as the straps. It's just a, smi just a small, slight color difference. I love the color contrast that they do. Um, they did a phenomenal job with this bag. The tag is on the side, of course. We have beautiful gold hardware, which I think, again, it's complementing the bag because there is an element of a gold hue already in the bag through the glow in the dark parts. And of course, the moon. Um, so it just really ties it all together. I think that it's a very romantic bag. Um, you know, if you are a little girl, this is, you know, this is a story that your mother told you or your grandmother told you. And of course, we've all seen the Disney movies, you know, so uh, it's going to tug at your heart. This is a beautiful memory. Peter Pan is a beautiful memory. So let's have a look, see the inside. And I do love my linings, right? May only be on the inside where only I will see, but it still matters to me. So it's a very, very beautiful lining. As you can see, you get real close. Um, it is the scene where Peter Pan is flying through the air with Wendy and the children. So again, it's just, it's a very romantic lining. It's beautiful. Um, they did a really good job. I think that overall this bag is, is absolutely, it's adorable. It's beautiful. All of the texture elements are there. The only thing I wish it had was side pockets. You know, that's my big, one of my big pet peeves. But other than that, the bag is phenomenal. Um, Oh, and the cool thing that you might miss if you didn't look is Nana, who is on the bottom in the in the back on the little corner. Everyone loves Nana. She was the best. Now, if only she got her own bag, right? Right. So, again, beautiful bag. I really loved it. Um, I think it's understated. Um, I am glad that it is popular. Um, I just want it to be popular for the right reasons. Not because a reseller thought, oh, this is an investment that I can really get into, but because it's a bag that um, they all want to own. Because it's something you want to take home and share with your children and your grandchildren. Uh, because it's a beautiful memory. So, like I said, I loved Peter Pan. So, the next one I have to show you um, is what I call one of my rare finds. And it's tiny. It was just funny because when I saw it before I bought it, um, I did not realize how tiny. Now that's fine. I don't mind. It was a fabulous price. And the best part, I haven't even shown you, but look how small it is. It is so cute. So this is like a micro crossbody. Um, and I know that they did like a Marie one, um, like in 2018. Uh, I know it's still out there somewhere. I, I might snap it up if I see it. Um, and then there was like a Hello Kitty one that was also equally this small. Uh, and they're super cute. Um, it's one of those things where you have to have the right outfit. And I, of course, have plenty of right outfits for this particular bag. Now, the best part that I have yet to show you is that one, because clearly this is not a new bag, it has all of its tags still on it. It's a heart bag. So, and if you're a collector, you know what that means. You know it's pre-Funko. You know it means it's extra special in the lounge fly heart. So, um, when I saw that, that it had the heart and that it was Minnie Mouse in this very classic look, I, I just did not hesitate to buy it. Um, it does have another strap inside of it. And even if it didn't, remember, Loungefly most recently made these beautiful new extra straps that you can purchase for just $18. And Minnie Mouse is one of the characters. 
that you can purchase it for or the plain black ones with no characters and they made those so that just in case should your strap break or say you are really tall and you need an extendable strap because they do come in regular and extra large you can purchase a strap that is best fit for you in my case, I have actually purchased a couple of bags where in mint condition with the one exception that it is missing the strap. But I figured, hey, I'm sure I have another bag somewhere that has a strap inside of it that will never be used. And that is often the case. But the best part about these straps is that they're so easy to use because they're claw straps. Not every strap is the same. Nay, nay. So, like I said, this one has an extra strap inside so that you can carry it as a crossbody and not just like this. Although I will say, sometimes when I see these tiny bags, I think, oh, that must have been made for someone's child. That can possibly be for an adult. Yeah. So, now on to, and I'm, I, let me be full disclosure here. If you're watching this video and you are a Gudetama fan, this bag I purchased. Um, originally, I did not realize that it was not um, not going to be a traditional lounge fly bag with our hard tag. Because it was such a good price. Because uh, I know for a fact that this and several other ones are just hard to get now because they were made so long ago. <clears throat> So, like I said, full disclosure, this is not going to remain in my collection. I have purchased this to be a trader because I know that there are people who that's their thing. It's Gudetama or, you know, Hello Kitty. And you know, I, I do Hello Kitty and I do like Gudetama, but it's not like my thing, you know? So, I might purchase a Gudetama bag, but if it does not have a metal tag, then it is not for me. I'm sorry. But... I do know that some of you out there are looking for this bag, so feel free to message me in the comments because it is for trade. Yes, it is. So, let's review the bag. So, even though it is not a Loungefly hard tag bag, it is indeed a Funko bag. So, it is still made by the same company. Um, and believe it or not, uh, of all the... And I will say this, um, Funko, the ones that are made with the Funko Funko tag, I have noticed the actual quality of the bag is really good. Like this one is, is really, like I, I honestly, I thought this for sure was a hard tag lounge fly bag. I did. Um, cause you, these are usually less expensive. So I was, I was very happy when it came. I was like, well, maybe I will keep it, but I'm not. I mean, I'm, like I said, if I was a big Gudetama fan, I would, but it's, I'm a diehard Disney girl, and, 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 and Hello Kitty is my sidekick, and there's just no room for another one. It just isn't, unless this name is Pachaco. So if you have a Pachaco, I'm looking, just so you know, I need that Pachaco. Okay, crazy person is, is back in, back in the back. So anyway, so it has the lovely side pockets, and, um, uncharacteristic of a Funko mag, it does have nice thick straps, which is good because, you know, um, if you are uh, not just a collector, but you wear your bags like I do, um, you are happy with your purchase. Uh, and then let's check out the lining. So this is kind of where you know what you've got. The, there is a plain black lining. I, I would love to have seen a really beautiful uh, good on the lining, but it's just the black, which is fine. Like I said, the bag itself is excellent. And there is no secondary pocket inside. Other than that, the bag is absolutely gorgeous. The quality actually feels much nicer than I was expecting. Um, and I actually just, I really like uh, this print. It actually, And it has an applique on the front. So this actually is a very beautiful bag. So if you are a Gudetama collector, drop me something in the comments. I may have the bag for you. Alrighty, so now, now I have some other non-bag related items. So most recently, um, we, and, we, and the bag hasn't come yet, so don't worry, we will, when, and when it comes, we will talk about it. But the Dumbo bags, they have small accessories. So this is the keychain for the latest Dumbo bags. They are super cute, you see? 
I love the um, that, like stained glass that they have in the keychain. Super, super, super cute. Okay, and then, oh, so I showed you the one keychain that my friend got me, the personal shopper, my lovely Brandy. She also got me this one, Lumiere. Love that Lumiere. He needs his own bag. And then this cool teacup, which I'm actually going to put on my teacup bag. So, I mean, it's a great accessory to top off my bag. And then, um, I love these so much. I was so happy. Um, I don't know if you guys remember, I did a bag viewing that um, I had these really cute Mickey and Minnie keychains from Shanghai. Well, I now have matching Daisy and Donald from Shanghai. Brand new. Super cute. I got them for an absolute bargain. And I am so happy to add them to my collection. Now I just need Chip and Dale. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Do you know how hard it is to snap all this stuff up? You see the collection. It's growing at an alarming rate. I hate to see what my checkbook it looks like. It's probably going, ah, stop. No. No more. Yeah. It's probably totally doing that. I'm not even joking. Because, you know, we have all these other exclusives. Like I said, Bambi's still coming this week. Uh, the Mandalorian. And then I I just pre-ordered. Oh, yes. We're going to talk about exclusive next. Haha. -ha, so let's finish up. So, there we go. Daisy and Donna from Shanghai. And, of course, they have the claw clamp, which I love. So, I just now have to figure out what bag is the right bag for me to put these on. So, if you guys have any suggestions on which bag you think that I should put them on, Drop it in the comments. I love advice. All right. So the last thing, the last thing before we talk about exclusives and um, the pre-orders. Uh, I, okay, this is silly. I don't know if you, have you guys ever been to the store um, five below? I buy like art supplies there all the time. Um, but I just happened to see these. And you guys know I recently acquired some stitch bags and I'm not a big stitch fan, but they were just too cute to pass up, right? And then my husband got me that one for Valentine's. So I thought, you know, I'll make some keychains. So these were an absolute bargain because if you look up online how much figures cost, you know they're they're pretty pricey. So you get this set for five dollars at five below. And it has 626 and then stitch with, I forget what the little voodoo doll's name is. Um, but two of these, and they're they're a pretty good size. They're about, I don't know, two inches maybe? Two inches, I think, around there, um, for $5. Now, I, mind you, I am going to make these into keychains. I'm going to drill little holes in their head and all that jazz. But I thought that was like a real bargain. Normally, you'd have to pay like $10 like and try to get some through like a mystery bag sort of thing so i got those and then this one it looks like he's I, i'm not even trying to guess i don't i don't watch this one stitch is not i don't know i don't, I don't know i know the luau one but that's because there's a luau bag from february march no march i think march it's coming out really soon so again these two figures were five dollars at five below um and that was just such a bargain I couldn't pass it up. So I'm going to turn all of those into keychains. Yes. All right. So to finish up, let's have a quick talk about... It was April pre-orders last night. And so the big talk of the week has been, oh, you know, what is it going to be? I mean, everybody is already saying Star Wars. So, I mean, everyone knew Star Wars, you know, and so that was like a big hit. Um, the trilogy bag, I did see some funny comments, like in some of the threads where people were like, that's not a mini backpack. It's a regular size bag. And, um, normally I just try not to comment, uh, you know, where it seems like it might be something that might turn into like an argument. So I, I, I just made a tiny little reference and I, you know, you guys have seen the princess, um, like the trio bag from Shop Disney. So I snapshotted that picture into the comments said it's not a regular size backpack. It is indeed a mini backpack. <clears throat> and it's going to be just like this one. Uh, if you check the measurements are exactly the same. It's still a mini backpack. It's just slightly larger and it's this design, you know, with the tri pocket. And um, 
apparently that did the trick. People were less, you know, confused. I do realize that sometimes when you see a picture, especially like the Star Wars trilogy bag, it has like this black block at the bottom. Uh, it can be strangely deceptive. But I do, I do kind of have a little chuckle to myself because one person was talking about the measurements and how they don't add up to a mini backpack. And I was just like, it's only like an inch and a half bigger than all the other minis with the exception of bags that are like that do they not realize what a regular size backpack size is I mean we're talking the trilogy bag measures at 13.75 um, inches by uh, 10 inches by 4.5 inches that is still a mini backpack although normally they, they do tend to run between 9 and 10 inches for the width but um, all the other measurements in the bag are, are identical to um, regular minis. Only the micros run any smaller than that. So it being 13.75 is not hardly, is hardly anything. Because you're talking with a regular backpack, we're talking 20 plus inches. 20 plus inches. We're talking about 24 to, to 28 inches for a regular size nylon backpack. Um... So there's no way that it was anywhere near that. Um, so it just, uh, I sent, and it was a guy who commented that. So that's what I thought was funny is maybe, maybe because, you know, guys don't really spend their time doing what we ladies do, you know, shopping for bags. Maybe he just didn't know what a real backpack's actual measurements were. So I thought that was, that was just kind of a funny comment to see. Um, I was a little disappointed. Boba Fett was a sure bet. And I actually saw that less people purchased Boba Fett. Um, I, even though there was so much excitement building up for him. Um, I think people were really hoping that he would look more like the original. Um, and to that I say wait for the live images. Don't make judgments based on the mock drawings. Because they are often you know, not going to look like that drawing. Um, the one that was a dark horse, and I say this because I'm kicking myself because I, I really didn't buy many of them for my store at all, was WandaVision. WandaVision was the dark horse, like literally sold out in like minutes everywhere. Mine gone in seconds because I had almost none. But I just, I'm so surprised. I mean, some people, like, I was like, what is WandaVision? And I feel awful because I, I'm a Marvel fan. Wanda, you know, the Red Witch, and Vision. Wanda, Vision, duh. I felt really dumb when I uh, finally put it together and I sat down and I was like, oh, oh, okay, I get it. And then Disney Plus, of course, has that show, Wanda, Vision, so that's why we got the bag. And yeah, it was a dark horse, totally not expecting that at all. Um, and then, of course, Scooby-Doo, very popular. Everyone's super excited for Scooby-Doo. Deadpool's 30th anniversary is here, so we have two, two backpacks. One is a larger backpack. It's going to be like the Marvel Chibi, and then, and that's the all-over print where Deadpool's wearing like he's the king, um, you know, he's like Egyptian, uh, Panda, you know, all those fun characters, and then there's the one where he's riding the unicorn over um, the rainbow, and then, of course, the crossbody is the chimichanga truck. And then they each, there's a card holder for the unicorn bag. And the Oliver Print got a regular wallet. But it's definitely the AOP that is larger. It's going to be as big as the, um, the Marvel uh, Chibi that came out recently. I think that was in January. So it's going to be that size. It is going to be a significantly larger bag. Um, some people are hesitant about the size. I personally can't wait because that's what I call a mom bag. A mom bag. You know, when we go to the parks, we have these tiny little backpacks on and there's just not enough room for everything. Uh, especially if you have a lot of children or you have a lot of small children. And, you know, like I have kids who have to take medication. Um, it, that bag's going to be a lifesaver because I can get more stuff in it. You know, I can get all the meds in there. I can get all the wipes in there. Uh, everything a mom needs is going to fit into that bag. And I am a Deadpool fan, so I will totally rock that. So I am looking forward to that one myself. Um, oh, and then Fox and the Hound. I was a little shocked. There was not as much excitement for Fox and the Hound. Um, some people said that they wish that it was the velvet was more all over versus just the trim. 
Um, and no one mentioned that the ears moved. I'm like, come on, guys. I think it's an excellent feature for the bag. It's going to make it totally cool. So, again, don't write something off until you see the final live images because I think that bag is going to be beautiful. I mean, we all saw the Miko bag, and it came out really well. So, I think that, you know, just hang in there. You'll see it's a, it's a phenomenal bag. I mean, I personally can't wait. Um... The crossbody, I would have liked to have seen more fox and hound to it. I saw there's there's a lot of floral, a lot of flowers. Um, I think that was a little overpowering that you almost don't even know that it's a fox and hound bag. But again, until I see the live image, I don't want to make you know um, you know any assumptions because there have been times when I saw a picture and then the the bag came and I was absolutely in love. So, um, I just say wait for the, the live images because a lot of times they're going to be a lot more attractive in real life. Oh, people mentioned something about the Scooby-Doo's because some people were using um, the original images that we were given like at the beginning of the year instead of the high definition ones. And like uh, Daphne's eyes were all like, Ugh. like one was all like black and stuff. Like it looked all creepy and uh was it shaggy? Like, again, he had looked like his eyes were all, uh, and people were like, oh no, please tell me that's not what the bag is going to look like. And it's like, no, they just, they didn't use the right images. Those are old images, like the preliminary ones. They just slap in the book to send us because they sent us new ones, you know, and they look phenomenal. That bag is going to be absolutely beautiful. Um, I think what I would like to see with that one though, is they should have done like they did the chimichanga truck for um, Deadpool. They should have actually done a crossbody of the van for Scooby-Doo, like an actual, you know, like you've seen the lunch boxes, right? We all had them when we were kids. That would have made an awesome crossbody. I would have loved to have seen that. Maybe that's in our future. So, um, so that was really cool. Uh, oh, the yellow submarine. Again, another one I'm definitely kicking myself for now because of course you can't get any more. You know, they're all sold out at the at the distributors. Sold out so fast. Sold out so fast. You know, I knew over in the UK that would be like a big thing because, you know, the Beatles over there is like Elvis and um, Michael Jackson over here. Holy crap. There were people who were crazy for that yellow submarine bag. And I was like, whew. I bought the bare minimum. I'm not even going to lie. I, I'm, I mean, don't get me wrong. I like Beatles songs. I'm just like, it's, I think it's just not my generation sort of thing. I don't know. But, I mean, hey, it, they loved it. So, I mean, it's a success so far. Um, oh, and the books, the Disney Princess books. Um, everyone really loved that set. I think it came out very well. Um, we'll see it much better, of course, when the live images hit. But um, I think everyone was very happy with that one. And the Muses, everyone knew that one was coming, so we knew that would sell well right off the bat. Um, anything else? Anything else? Did I cover them all? I think so. I think so. So, um, as far as exclusives that ran last night, Grotto Treasures had the uh, wallet for the Al... Uh, ooh, I'm drawing a blank. Sally, sorry. Sally Cosplay Bag. Um, again, that sold out in, I think, three minutes. Three minutes. I'm not a wallet person, so I did not attempt to purchase it. But my friend did, and she was very happy. She collected, you know, the original set, and now she has, like, the new set. She's like, yay! And I'm like, woo! Yeah. Um, but I did, you know, walk on over to Modern Pinup and pick up the new Tinkerbell. I actually picked up two. The only question will be... Will I be keeping them both? You know, one on the wall and one to wear? Or will I be trading one? It's an interesting question. I guess we'll just have to see when it comes. Because it's a white bag. And, you know, we all worry about the white bag. And, of course, my friend was like, you know, if you don't like it because of placement. Now, I mean, placement's cool. Uh, not everybody's in the placement. I personally, it's not like as big of a deal for me. Um, it's not like a deal breaker. So I actually told her if she didn't like her placement and she liked mine better, we could swap. This is not that big of a deal to me. And she almost jumped through the phone. She's like, oh my God, for real, you would do that for me? I'm like, 
yeah, it's not that big of a deal for me. I mean, there's a couple of bags where the placement, like, is going to matter. Like, the park bag I got where I wanted to get, you know, the abominable on the front. That mattered. But something where it's the same print over and over again, I I'm, I'm pretty okay about that. If I can make someone else's day, it's even more happiness. So, we have a mystery because Grotto Treasures has not told us what their sequence bag is that's releasing this week. And there have been many, many, many guesses. But I have a feeling my guess is the right guess. So, I think the new um, exclusive this week from Grotto Treasures is going to be a Tinkerbell bag. Now, I can't tell you why I think it is, but we're just going to wait and see if I'm correct. So, in a week's time on my next video, we should know whether or not it was Tinkerbell. But no one else has guessed it. And she did tell me that everyone else's guesses were wrong. So, this is my guess. It's Tinkerbell. So, there's more exclusives to come. Um, I think that's all of them for now. Oh, no, no, no. We are still waiting to see who, when Dopey is going to release from loungefly.com. And then I don't know if you guys saw this image pop up of a um, Robin Hood bag. It's super gorgeous. I mean, like, absolutely beautiful. Um, I will put it in the comments so that you can see it. So you can be on the lookout for it. Because we know it's coming, but we just don't know who it's coming from. Loungefly News on Instagram. She keeps posting these cool bags. I don't know where the heck she's getting them from, but they're coming from somewhere. And then, of course, we're still waiting for that new Winnie the Pooh bag, the one with the red and the flower. Again, we don't know who's putting it out. Um, we just know that it's coming. So keep your eyes peeled, your ears to the ground. And remember, try to keep as much money in your wallet. It, they're just bags. I mean, it's a lot of fun to collect, but it's not worth your health. And, the, and no drama, okay? Let's just make, keep it fun. Keep it fun. And I so appreciate that you guys came and sat with me and we talked about some cool stuff. If you have questions, drop it in the comments. Like and subscribe. And ask your friends to like and subscribe. But I mean, only if they actually do like it. I mean, don't like, be like, meh. And check back next week and we'll see whether or not Grotto Treasure Sequins Bag is Tinkerbell. I still, I'm telling you. It's got a sixth sense about this. It's definitely Tinkerbell. Thanks again for sitting with me and I will see you next time.